first idle method to solve the following system of equation as we know uh, we have to first define the variables from given system of equation uh, in first equation as coefficient of x is uh, more so we can take x from equation 1 uh, y from equation 2 as a coefficient of y is a uh, large in second equation and z obviously from equation number third so we take the first equation 10x y plus z is equal to 12 from that x will be 12 minus y minus z as coefficient of x is 10 take in denominator and put it as a number one for y we have to take equation x plus 10 y plus z is equal to 12 so y is equal to 12 minus x minus z divided by 10 put it as number two and for z we take equation x plus y plus 10 z is equal to 12 so z will be uh, 12 minus x minus y divided by 10 put this as number 3 now we have to here use gauss seidel method so in first iteration remember the uh, difference between jacobi's and gauss seidel method we have to take only y and z as a 0 to evaluate x naught by putting y and z in equation number 1 on right hand side we get 12 minus 0 minus 0 divided by 10 as 1.2 now for y naught we use equation 2 by putting x as a x naught that means 1.2 and z as a 0 in equation number uh, 2 that is 12 minus 1.2 minus 0 divided by 10 by using calculator we can evaluate the value as 1.08 so for z naught we have to use equation 3 on right hand side by putting x as a x naught that is 1.2 and y as a y naught that is 1.08 so 12 minus 1.2 minus 1.08 divided by 10 by using calculator we have the value 0.972 now you can observe the initial roots are as we take y and z 0 uh, we get new roots y naught z naught which is uh, not equal to 0 so we have to take second iteration for second iteration uh, we take again initial values of y and z only as y 1.08 and z as a 0.972 in jacobi's method we take initial values of x y z all three unknowns but in uh, gauss seidel method we take only values of unknown y and z using that we evaluate value of x in second iteration it is denoted by x1 to find x1 by taking our uh, right hand side y as a 1.08 z as a 0 0.972 uh, in equation 1 so 12 minus 1.08 minus 0 0.972 divided by 10 the x1 the value of x1 will, will be 0 0.995 now for y1 we use equation number 2 by putting or on right hand side x as x1 0 0.995 uh, and z as a uh, 0 0.972 so we get 12 minus uh, 0.995 minus 0 0.972 divided by 10 so by using calculator it will be 1.003 now for z1 using equation number 3 by putting x as a x1 0 0.995 and y as a y1 1.003 on right hand side we get 12 minus 0 0.995 minus y as a 1.003 divided by 10 we get z as a 1 now these are uh, two iterations we have asked the, in this example also only two iterations so we continue complete the value uh, complete the answer for serial method we have to solve the given system of equation as from each equation we draw uh, unknown in term of remaining equation by using the coefficients of unknown season equations as in this first equation the coefficient of x is a large so we draw x from uh, this equation as in second equation we can draw y as y has a greatest coefficient and in last equation we can draw z as z as a greatest coefficient so we take first equation 20x plus y minus 2z is equal to 17 so the value of x will be 17 minus y plus 2z divided by 20 remember this by taking y and z term of y and z on right hand side and taking denominator as a coefficient of x 
put this as a number 1. Now for second equation 3x plus 20y minus z is equal to minus 18. We get the value of y as a minus 18 minus 3x plus z divided by 20 as a number 2. And in last equation as a 2x plus uh, 2x minus 3y plus 20z is equal to 25. We get value of z as a 25 minus 2x plus 3y divided by 20. Put this as a number 3. Now for first iteration as this is a, a cos sidle method we take only values of y and z as a 0 to find value of x as a x naught. For that putting on right hand side uh, uh, right hand side in equation 1 as y and z as 0 we get 17 minus 0 minus 0 divided by 20. The value of uh, y naught is here uh, 0.85. Now using x as a x naught 0.85 and z as a 0 we can find the value of y naught by putting uh, uh, right uh, on right uh, equation number 2 on right hand side. So minus 18 minus 3 as we take x as a 0.85 which is a value of x naught minus plus z as a 0 which we assumed divided by 20 we get the value of y naught as a minus 1.03 now for z as a z naught by taking x as a x naught 0.85 y as a y naught minus 1.03 in equation uh, right hand side of equation number 3 we get 25 minus 2 into 0.85 plus 3 into bracket minus 1.03 divided by 20. The value of Z0 will be 1.01. Now we have to take here second iteration. For that we take initial value as only Y as a minus 1.03 which is a Y0 uh, and Z as a 1.01 which is a Z0. To find first X1 we have to take uh, on right hand side of equation 1 as a y minus 1.03 and z as a 1.01 so we get 17 minus y as a minus 1.03 put it into bracket plus 2 into z as a 1.01 divided by uh, 20 uh, the value of x1 will be 1.0025 now y1 for y1 we take x as a 1.0025 and z as a 1.01 on right hand side of equation number 2 so minus 18 minus 3 into bracket 1.0025 plus z as a 1.01 divided by 20 we get the value of y1 as a minus 0.398 and for z1 we take as a x 1.0025 y minus 0 0.9998 on right hand side of equation number 3 we get 25 minus 2 into bracket 1.0025 plus 3 into bracket minus 0 0.9998 divided by 20 we get the value as a 0 0.997 now you can observe as x1 is a, a approximate equal to 1 similarly x uh, y1 is a approximate equal to minus 1 and z1 is a approximate equal to 1 as we have asked only two iteration so the answer of or the root of this uh, uh, system of equation as x equal to 1 y is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to 1